The M Resort is the new home of the world's most anticipated poker event, as Las Vegas welcomes the game's greatest for season four of Premier League Poker. Premier League Poker is back here at the M Resort in Las Vegas. Twelve of the best players on the planet are here with one mission, to be crowned Premier League champion. It's important for me to come out and win and to prove to the world that I'm for real and I am one of the greatest tournament players out there. This is my first opportunity to play in the Premier League, so obviously I want to start off with a bang and just win it right off the bat. For me, you can expect anything, so just watch and anything is possible. Do I think I have a shot? I mean, I'm putting up 100 grand, so that should tell you something. I just want to add another championship to my name. I want another crown, number four. I'd love to make it. Premier League four. This experience, this experience is, is something that only a few can dream of. I'm going to bring everything I got to the Premier League. It's going to be tough to beat me. But when you play poker, it's not like there's something you're going to do today. You have done your homework, you know how to play, then you get there and you fight. We're at the starting line. <laughs> Let's bring it on. You know, it feels great. I don't think about the money in any tournament I sit down and play. I would win it now and give you the money. I want to show the whole world how much of an edge I've got. And even the top professionals, I know I'm loads better than them, and I'm here to prove it. There's 12 great players in this field, $1.5 million in prize money. It's the Premier League Four, baby! Deal me in! That is what I'm talking about. I wouldn't underestimate him in an eight-handed game because this is the size of field when he used to win. We're going to fucking dance. Bonk. No idea what in the world's going on here. Oh my lord, this is so sick. I'm having fun. Is that what you call having fun? Well, I'm gonna punish you. I promise. Oh. I don't. You don't take it to a personal level. I mean, it's just poker. It means every other time we play, it's gonna be a hell of a show. Oh! Eat some of that! Can we get security? I'm, I'm just so happy with the way I'm playing. We're happy with the way you're playing too, Phil. <laughs> oh! must be good. It's good. It's fucking good. And that's what I'm talking about. I waited. I trapped him. I checked behind. I free bet. I did everything right. And if it's a jack or a ten, something's getting broken. Come on, the razor. Hey, hey. Whoa. Ah. Wait, wait, hold on a second. Best wishes on your retirement. It's the gayest <laughs> shit I've ever seen. What's it like to ever hit a flop? Like, ever? Sick. Well, this deal is just incredible. I mean, this is just a... Yeah, unbelievable, I haven't won one hand. <laughs> yeah! Shouldn't even be allowed to play. You're beyond dumb. This may be one of us is dumb, Tony. I'm not so sure who it is, so. Fuck it. At least you put your money where your mouth was. In your eye, David Benjamin, you arrogant guy. Fuck, you think you can angle me? You just got so pwned, it's a joke. I'm ready to die, you're not ready to die. You've declared war, I've accepted your time. You just shut up. Yes! That's kind of weird. Yeah, baby, that's it. But how much that one? Yeah. Turn an ace to end this race, yo. Yeah. 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 Every tournament should be like this. This is the best shot in poker. Oh, I can't fucking wait. I'll tell you right now. There has never been a Premier League poker without Phil Helmuth, so I'm thrilled to be here with the 11-time, all-time World Series of Poker bracelet holder, Phil. Now, Phil, a new format, a new lineup, but one thing that's not new is everyone's gunning for you in the Premier League. <laughs> I love it. I mean, it just, it just, it is kind of fun to be the center of attention. It does seem like they're not giving me enough respect. A theme which I'm, which I try to feed on and use to my advantage, and I'm feeling super positive and. You know, it's. I mean, it is a tougher lineup than ever before, and some new guys we'll be seeing today: uh, the young guns, Timoshenko, Schwartz, and Daniel Negreanu. I mean, listen, Daniel Negreanu is just a world-class player. Everybody knows it. Um, I sometimes tease him because he'll say, "I know you have three fives. I know you have three fives. I know you have three fives, But calls anyway. I'll tease him about that. But he's just an absolutely terrific player with great reads and great hold and ability. Timoshenko, what can you say? This kid is. 21 when he first started. He won the Tour Championship, the WPT $25,000 buy-in Tour Championship. I mean, it was a phenomenal win. And then he wins an online tournament with 2,000 players for 1.7 million. And the guy's just absolutely kind of a, a new sensation in tournament 
Hold'em poker. And then full flush forts, I don't really know enough about Luke at this point. I haven't really seen him around much, but, but, but I'll tell you something. Yevgeny is going to be interesting to watch him play. Daniel's just a classic. And with the format, a real testing ground for poker, so may the best man win in this first match. The Premier League is a league format, with each player playing four times in a season and being awarded points depending on where they finish each match. Maximum of 16 points is awarded for first, 11 points for second, then it's 8, 6, 4, 3, 2, and the first player out of each heat gets the bagel worth zero. Points will be converted to chips at the final table at the rate of $10,000 per point, but not everyone makes the final table. The first four in the league are guaranteed, but fifth through eighth place play heads up matches for the last two seats on that final table. Ninth place through 12th place are out. Premier League Poker season four kicks off right now, and here are the first eight to take to the table. Right. Premier League Poker four is underway. Uh, Phil, this guy, you were here, the buzz is just tremendous. I mean, you know, filming it in Vegas, I think just helps a lot. And, uh, you know, I, I mean, Ooh. it's pretty cool. I mean, I, I like having, Daniel seems like a natural fixture for the show. As do the other newbies like Luke Schwartz and Phil Locke <laughs> and Vanessa Russo. <laughs> also, uh, defending champion JC Tran on this table. He's ready for it. He just like, he pulls up a couch near every Cards in the air for the start of this Premier League, and the table chat is fierce. A lot of people, uh, uh, Vanessa in particular, said she was going to, she's a strategy wonk, she was going to look at the format and stuff like that. I mean, what does the format say, that you have to hang around and get points? Yeah, you really can't go out early, so these players, it looks to me like they're trying to, everybody's folded the, all the way around. Now, Phil Locke, he can't help himself. He's going to try to pick up some blinds and annies with some raises. I know a guy like you loves the fact that there's a hundred and there's 150 big blinds to start as opposed to 50 uh, in this Premier League. Well, I mean, the, the beautiful, yeah, the beautiful thing about this structure now is that we start with three times as many chips, so therefore there's a lot more skill involved. So, but it also makes people play a lot tighter. Now, Phil Locke is the one guy who, who could also get himself involved in overextending. Like, he'll try to make some moves early in the Premier League, and if he gets himself in trouble, He's also oh, capable of going back into super tight. So he's capable of bluffing off 100,000, 150,000, trying to take the chip lead, but then he's going to go back yeah. into super tight mode if it doesn't work. So you look him at, like at him right now as a guy I just don't think yeah. anybody's yeah. ever going to go out. <laughs> yeah. They're all folding ace jack and ace high and seven eight suited. It's gotten, s poker has gotten so far the, in the other direction these days. I mean, I've been a big proponent of, of super tight play and, and, and I think it's mathematically right. And See like JC in the old days, I think you probably would have just re-raised with ace jack there. Oh, he's just going to peel off the flop. <laughs> what, would you would you have done the same thing? Sort of depends how you feel. <laughs> I would have I would have probably re-raised with Ace Jack against uh, Phil Locke um, before the flop. But but look, I mean, uh, there's nothing wrong. Call it's very close. Call calling's fine too. He's in a great position because of his call now. The thing is, is that we say so much funny stuff and they just have Phil Helmuth like talking over. <laughs> so there's 8,000 and uh, I'm sure Locke's going to check call. Yeah, of course. I mean, Did you say Sheriff Locke? <laughs> well, I mean, I think, I think Locke feels like there's a good chance he has the best hand. So. What do you know about JC's game? He played with him a lot in the last Premier League. Now, JC has a tough decision here. The question is, if he puts Phil Locke on ace-queen or jack-nine or something, how much do you bet to protect your hand? So that's the reason he stepped up and he's betting a lot more chips on this round is because he wants to protect his hand uh, in case Phil has a, you know, a nine in his hand or a queen-king or something like that. JC would just prefer to take the pot down right now. And JC also doesn't have a problem if Phil Locke calls, but then he's hoping for, you know, <laughs> a non-threatening river card. So you like the size of his bet, though, just over half the pot here. I like the size of his bet. I play too tight. Too tightly. Okay. Give me five bucks if you show me a hand. 
I pay you right now. I love now. it. You just made a grammar correction. Yeah. That's so good. <laughs> Respect for the defending champion. Well, I mean, a very good start for JC. I mean, he, he flopped top pair against second pair uh, yeah. in the third hand and won some chips. And <laughs> that's going to help his confidence. And, you know, JC's been like fishing every day for months. I mean, he's only played like two events in a couple of months. And this is a guy that was playing eight events to ten events a month right. for years. So, so he's like the Ray Z of 2010, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's gotten away from, he's gotten to, you know, kind of a. But look, I mean, I think. You know, you have to understand, to me, poker is also, there's two things going on. I mean, wh when you're a professional poker player and you're trying to make history like me, that's great. This is Schwartz who's, uh, who's raised this one. Yeah. An interesting thing about being a professional player is life optimization. You know, how are you, how are you living your life? I mean, if you're going to make a fortune playing poker, then, you know, uh, you have to be able to enjoy the money and your life. I mean, it gives you tremendous freedom. So I don't mind the continuation bet there, but I think JC's probably going to just raise this and take it down. He has a nut flush draw. If he raises. I don't see him just calling. Kay. Okay, he did just call. Interesting. Scared about getting blown off the pot, maybe? Is that the idea? Yeah, maybe. Maybe uh, Maybe the call's good enough anyway. I mean. What do you know about Luke? I mean, a lot of people say he's very good, and a lot of people say he's all talk and is unproven. So we're going to see, right? Full flush as he's known online. That's a big bet. Yeah, it's a big bet. On that flop, he thinks that he's beat. He thinks that JC has a jack or a five or a pair or a straight draw or something, but I think that he believes he's beat. And so he's bet $25,000 on a bluff. JC's got the brown 5,000 chips there in the white. I mean, it's like a th he's threatening raise, trying to see what it would be. Well, mean. look, if JC thinks that Schwartz is weak, then he could raise it. Raise? Oh, man! Cool. Yeah, very good raise. Very good raise on That's JC's lucky. part. And full That's flush good. has just met JC I mean, Tran. JC Tran. Nice to flop a set first mm -hmm. time. He didn't have it, unless he had fives. If had Luke's got, like, a, a king, yeah. ace, king there, I mean, JC's in trouble. Yeah, yeah, JC, right, right. I mean, but, but, that's, but that's where, exactly, exactly. And, and I think sometimes some of the younger guys don't disguise their weakness as well. So JC, in his mind, he sat there, he counted out 25,000, he counted out the raise, and he was looking at Luke the whole time he was doing it. And it, a little button goes off in your head when you're a great player, and it says, this person cannot call this raise. And all of a sudden, so you pull the trigger. You don't really think it through what they have. You just are thinking, can they call or, you know, yeah. will they call or won't they call? And he found the, you know, the they won't call and, and made a very a, a great move early. Is that an indication to you that Luke Schwartz may have to dig a little deeper here in this Premier League? He's up against a class field here, isn't he? Well, you know, I mean, J.C. Tran is just, you know, I mean, just a great player. There's no doubt about it. Interesting, You'll Phil Locke just called with tens. Yeah. I, I don't blame him for that. We're going to see a lot more of that with these deeper stacks, right? Yes. You Roland may, may actually think ace-queen is the best hand here. He may check call or he may bet it. But he's thinking, he's looking at Locke, and, he, you know, we kind of know that Locke will take a flop with a, a king-queen suited in this spot. So it's even money whether the ace-queen is good or not in Roland's mind. That's an unusual check by Phil. What, is, what do you make of that? Well, I, I, I think that uh, I think that if he, I, I don't think it was a bad check because he's trying to trap Roland in case Roland does have, uh, you know, two overcards. Of course, he was hoping for a non-king. And basically, if Roland bets here, Phil Locke's going to call him. And I mean, Phil's sort of. Dis his hand has been is very deceptive so far. It's even deceptive now because it looks kind of like he's got king queen or something, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But it looks like, or he could have ace king. I mean, I think Roland now knows for sure he's beat, and Roland's probably just going to check fold. You can't really bluff the lock. <laughs> <laughs> Sheriff Lock, huh? Yeah, I mean, Phil Lock is one of these guys that you know. 
you just don't try to bluff. I mean, you try to bluff Phil Locke before the flop, but then from then on, y and you might occasionally try to bluff him on the flop, but he's yes. not really a guy you want to. You know we have four and four. And <laughs> he made, he made a 3,000 bet on the river into 29. I mean. I didn't get so much joy out of, like, super <laughs> Well, I mean, that's, the see, that's, you know. Because someone's going to snap him on that, aren't they? Well, that's hmm. kind of that's kind of what I do, are those yeah. tiny little bets on the end when you know it's good and you're just looking <laughs> to milk a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, you know, they talk about the three original members of the Premier League still being in the Premier League, but Ian's one of the original members, too. He just had to win his way in this year. And kind of that makes it almost sweeter for him. He wants it so bad. I don't think that Ian has probably done enough in the big tournaments like the World Series of Pokers. The World Series of Poker Europe's, the World Poker Tours, the EPTs yet. Um, and this will be the first pot for Vanessa. I'm so excited to see her play. I, you say you've played with her a little bit, um, and you think she can be a little over aggressive. Um, she's capable of getting herself in in a, in, in a bad in a bad spot uh, in the past, but you know, here's the thing, everybody's playing like uncharacteristically tight right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's clearly the right way to play. But you know, when, when it gets, when it comes push come to shove and the blinds get up there, some people panic earlier. I'm expecting uh, Vanessa to maybe panic a little bit earlier. Um, and, and I don't know, we'll see, maybe some of the internet kids will panic a little bit earlier. In other words, when you know, say the blinds are ten and twenty thousand, and everybody has four hundred thousand, will they then just start overplaying all their hands? Sure. Roland's taking this flop off in position, and cute little check here by Vanessa, right? Time to bet. Time for her to bet now, or she has to bet. She might bet like six thousand or something. Six. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> <laughs> Six is a good bet. She had the biggest result, I think, of her poker career earlier this year, a high rollers event in Monte Carlo oh for about a million dollars. <laughs> and uh, Tony G was third in that. Point. <laughs> well, she also finished second in the NBC Heads Up Championships. That, that act, you're right. That was a huge <laughs> result. Yeah, that, that was, was a huge, huge result, result for her career. And uh, J.C. Tran, the leader so far, but there's not much in it, is there? No, no, I mean. It's, but b believe me, 365 is a, is a nice stack to have right now, though. You you would you want that, but I mean, there's not much in everybody else. I mean, I don't think Negrano's moved a chip. You know, it's the new Daniel. I mean, you, you've seen it the last year and a half, two years, where he's just playing super tight, which is the correct way, in my opinion, to play the game. Um, it's not as much fun for him. I think that, you know, he <coughs> he's had success by playing a lot of hands in the past, and so... I think it's hard for him to kind of say, you know what, maybe I need to play a little bit more patient. Back for more from Las Vegas in a moment. JC Tran is the defending champ. Be ready for him. Don't bring the B game because it's not going to work. Premier League 4, can't wait. Yeah, I'm pumped up. I'm ready for it. All the players should be well. All the numbers are at zero. We're at the starting line. <laughs> Let's bring it on. Yeah! Oh, I hate poker so much. You kids today. <laughs> okay, let's play poker. So don't. Yeah, you were right in the center of the bullseye, buddy. Don't hurt me, please don't hurt me. Guardian Angel, I think. Possibly. Welcome back. Premier League poker hey, history. Magazine. It'll never be the same again. <laughs> Bunch of new players I in like the you, field, including too. Schwartz. Thank you. Like He's been active. Well, he's he's definitely hey, looking to go out and get it, huh? I mean, to you, this is a little, is this a little Justin? youthful ex exuberance? Would okay. you call it that? Well, you know, okay. wow, it's a style, right? Good to be back. It's all about not inviting you. Good, good to see you. It's nice when you just win it, you know, the year before. Hard to say, well, yeah, I don't know if he's qualified. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, to raise under the gun with King Six suited, you know, is, you is a little bit loose. Head up, right? What, Tony G was last year who was head up with you? So I got the guy, that's my, that's my horse. He's yeah. good. Yep. There are some people you don't want to lose to head up. Tony G, Barry Shulman. 
<laughs> well, he's bet 10,000 here, and Fraser's got top up? pair. No. <laughs> well, Fraser's not a folder. We know that. So. <laughs> Fraser just has him absolutely nutted here. I mean, it's just he's drawing dead right now. Schwartz is, and yeah. so. Let's see if Schwartz can shut it down. <laughs> uh, you want anything more recently? Oh, I want no. December of. Uh, I mean, yeah, and field, Fraser is players. gonna call three barrels, right? Just because of how active Luke has been. Ah, not this year. You, you know, it's it's possible he could get him to lay it down. I mean, Fraser's gonna be sick if 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 he gets bluffed and they tell him later he got bluffed. <laughs> That's why he should call. He's <laughs> gonna maybe needle it. That one. That's why I noticed they mentioned thing in Canada. Why? It was it struck. I felt good. <laughs> Nine of spades is, is, is kind of, you know, a decent card for him to make a, take like a bluff at, too, too, but... It, 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 it completes a lot of straights. The 10 jack got this there, year? the flesh got there. No. I have two seconds. Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, that one in Brock Parker. He's going for it. Again, I was up two on That Phil... Yeah, no. we'll see if he goes for it. I mean, it's going to have to be a huge bet to get, yeah, to get him off his hand. I mean, <laughs> because I don't, I don't know. If it's a 5K buy -in. I'm not sure Luke's going to pull the trigger here. Yeah, it looks like he is. I checked online on like qualifiers and see what about it. Holy cow! What's what about that bet size? What does it say to Fraser? I mean, the 52,000, it was a very nice bet. It was a very aggressive play, and I think if Frazier makes the call here, Frazier's just going to be in the driver's seat. What about the 25,000? Luke, but every... Now here's where Frazier, sometimes in the Premier League, has been able to make some great reads. I'll give him credit. Sometimes he's able to just look and say, you know, I need to call, or I need to re-raise, or I need to do whatever. And uh, I don't like the fact he's staring off into space. I'd prefer we're looking more at Luke, trying to figure it out, but... Yeah. Phil, yeah. in Premier League uh -huh. 2, okay. Roland DeWolf made a huge yeah. river bluff and against Luke, Fraser. Right, and Luke, right, and Shea Fraser's never been the same He's since He's never then. been the same since. Here it is. Mm -hmm. Heat one, a young gun. If he folds this, I gotta, you got to fear for him. I like the fact he's looking at him. I think he's going to call. He can afford it. He might just be saying to himself, I can't afford to get bluffed. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Oh! Oh my god! Never a bluff, yeah? He's gonna show some, I think there's uh, some energy is brewing down there. Let's give it a minute to... I wanna show up, I wanna. I wanna show up. Show one, then. That's always sexy. One card is sexy. It'll be too obvious what I go. What, if you show like the five of clubs? Oh my god! So you gotta give Luke some credit. And that's and that's what happens with the young guns sometimes. They come in and they put themselves in bad positions where, where the river bet has to work. And then afterwards, everybody says, wow, great play. And you have to give him credit because he, he pulled the bluff off. But if he would have been called there, he'd be down to 150,000 and his credibility would have been destroyed. And that is full flush his personality in a nutshell end game you right? gotta give him credit though i mean he pulled off the bluff against fraser i would never have tried that yeah, bluff too, against fraser to be honest so <laughs> You can't call him bubblegum he's not chewing gum. Doyle's one of Doyle's men events had six plays. That was a big, big move. I mean, a lot of short... Have you filed anything away? Did you look at look at him, seeing his body Well, I mean, now you now you know that Luke is capable of a three-barrel bluff. I mean, that was a big, big swing for... That was, you know, I have some side bets in this Premier League. Schwartz is playing every hand. See, eight-handed, that's a, that's a difficult way. Yeah, put a lot of pressure on yourself. And JC, he, he picked off Luke earlier in this heat. Picked off his bluff. Now JC can't fold. What do you like call a raise here? Well, you know, we'll see what JC does here. I mean, I don't think he's afraid to, uh, yeah. Sure. Bunch of cards improve JC's hand. He's yeah. checked in the dark as Luke. Now JC's going to battle, like, I don't know, 12, 13,000 maybe. Sure. Mm, surprised. Trying to seven would have been a great card on the river. Right. Sure. Now it's time for a value bet. Yeah, I was going to bet 10,000 here. Maybe more. Six 
Now what's running through Luke's mind is that, you know, he had the best hand on the flop, he thinks. And it didn't look like the nine hit him, so Luke's thinking, all right, he has a jack or he has ace king or ace queen. And Luke, just having pulled a bluff off himself, might have a suspicious mind. <laughs> yeah, I think JC makes people curious, doesn't he? Jack. Not a jack, but a nine. And Tranis kind of picked up where he's left off. Nobody seems to be able to figure him out. You were the only one to figure him out last time, playing him heads up, Phil. I think you made one of the great calls in Premier League history. That's JC Tran. You might not want to play puts against him. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, for what I That was beautiful, huh? Mm -hmm. Got a great start, especially for the defending champion JC. They're chattering like Wait, kids in a cafeteria. Yeah, three percent of four. Uh, 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 to to win the main event. Like this time we have. I said zero. No, you said three. I said three. Yeah, Madison said forty. You could, you know, you take forty percent. So it wouldn't have to be that long. Of a Daniel yeah. into play. To win the main. Probably take online classes too. I can't believe I said three. I must have been really out of the. But a lot of good colleges now offer. And is he going to be a victim of getting too much respect? Now, why has Roland, is it because of the position of the Rays, or? Very strange play for Roland here to just call, but but the problem is if he makes a big re-raise with ace-king early, uh, Daniel's capable of saying, hey, I think he has ace-king, and, and calling with tens or jacks. I mean, Daniel's a very difficult player to play ace-king against because Daniel will call your re-raise with, you know, uh, the, the tens or jacks. He'll call a huge re-raise with it. I swear I've, I've had a deja vu. I remember this exact situation where you led into an ace-eight deuce flop. That time you had an eight, though. Weird. Sweetish? Yeah. So we know you don't have a set. No, I don't. No, no I, was, I just saw that whole thing before, once before in my life. Oh, there's someone else in the room. Well, apparently, Fraser hasn't yet seen that, <laughs> seen that move. Well, there goes Fraser. He's in bad, bad shape here. I, I you oh. know, I, I don't know. Maybe he's a little bit... Is he taking, like, an opinion that Roland has maybe a spade draw or something? I mean, it's a float, right? I mean... Yeah, I mean, Roland could have floated out with anything here. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, he is, but I mean... Oh, Roland, good play. Fraser check. Now, Roland wants a non-spade so, you know, he can, he can win some more money. Yeah. Doesn't that eight look like it could have hit Fraser's hand? No, not really. I mean, Daniel raced under the gun here, so Roland's in his mind is thinking, okay, how much can I get paid? Because he's thinking that Fraser has an ace or worse. <laughs> no way he puts him on an eight. Yeah. He's having a little secret smile there. He's trying to decide if he wants to be greedy. Is that the idea? No, he has to bet. He has to bet. I'd like to see him bet. I mean, you know, the amount he has out there, 16,000, would be a good bet. But they were short he could bet 25 or 30,000. He could actually and, uh, make it even I mean, bigger to look like a bluff. Yeah. That's that's what's running through his mind, is how much yeah, do I bet? So Roland feels <laughs> like <laughs> by betting a lot of chips here, he has a better chance of being called. What do you think? I think he might be right. I, I just don't see how Frazier could call this. But it's like a line. My first year where you hit the, if you it, you His rhythm is off. Ian Frazier. He, he folded when he should have called. He called when he should have passed. <coughs> yeah, his rhythm is I, I way came off. I yesterday and you just went broke, apparently. Oh my <laughs> God. It is no fun this first there you go. Here's 10. If Frazier Here's makes 10. that call. He's sitting on over 400,000 chips and feeling great about his reading abilities. And instead, he called in a really bad spot. And now he feels like crap about his reading abilities. And he's starting to wonder, am I outclassed by this field? And that's not a good feeling to have, I don't think. Here's Mike Sexton right in the back, Phil. Uh, Love Mike Sexton. Just giving Ian a few words of encouragement. Of course, Mike is, you know, the party ambassador, a poker's ambassador, and like yourself, just uh, is in the Hall of Fame now. 
He raised the black. I don't mind what I'm doing. I was under the gun. Yeah, I mean, Mike just got, uh, just which was just put into the Hall of Fame. I mean, he's <coughs> one of the early people behind online poker. Um, he and I represented sites before anybody else. Um, and uh, he. He's been nothing but great for the game of poker, did the commentary for the WPT. And pretty sure what he just said to Ian there, just take it easy, you know, just uh, settle down, right? Uh, Ian's not looking for any advice. I'm sure, Ian didn't even turn, I'm sure Ian didn't even turn around. I mean, he's not feeling good. I mean, he's got himself in another plucky position. Yeah, after you've just dusted off 100K, this is not the spot you want to be in, right? No. Calling the raise with the ace five suited. But he outflopped her, so he needs to kind of avoid a 10 or a diamond here to stay in the driver's seat. An ace is gin for him. Okay. Now he's going to bet 8,000. Good bet. And from Vanessa's point of view, Ian's range is so wide here. You she probably is going to fold, but I mean, okay. she, there's a part of her wondering if ace 10 was the best hand to start. And um, I wouldn't blame her if she called either. Yeah, she thinks Frazier's playing a lot of hands, and he might. she's thinking I could always hit a deuce for a straight, but ace high is probably good. Wow, and she got lucky. She got lucky to get a split. Nice check by her on the on the river. She's not gonna. She's not gonna get a better chance of. Uh, It is a split pot. For in her, from her point of view, better chance of uh, getting him to bluff than getting him to pay anything off? Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. You can't really bet out because the, the guy with king queen won't bluff it, you know? And, uh, and, and you know, what are you going to get called with? It looks, like, it looks like an ace. But if you check, you might get the guy with king queen to bluff it. My guess of what was within 3% or something. And then I found out, like, yeah, he was good. I think it hurt him. Kind of She's mean, asking about the bet. Like, I wonder what's the offer. offer. Yes, I give him five thousand dollars cash. If every hand of the heat, he has to run around the edge of the table after every hand. Every hand. You, you'll be so tired by the end of it. Dude, that, every you hand. Look at it in one way. Five, 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 first of all, couple of things: pounds or dollars, and is this an authentic offer, and is it for just this heat only? It's for this heat only, <coughs> and it's, okay. a, it's a genuine offer. What do you got to do? Run around the table every, every hand. hand. <laughs> and what if, uh, what if at some point the producers say, Phil, you can't be doing this. Yeah, that's now I don't, and now they don't let me run around the table. Now do I lose out on all the 5,000 I've collected? You get a percentage for every hand you collect. Divided by 5,000. I'm just going to play poker, sir. Maybe some other time we'll figure out. I love it. Thing. I don't know. Roland is pretty good at the prop bets, isn't he? Yeah. You would hate And now, uh, why has Daniel decided to speed up a little bit here? Well, he got away with he got away with the deuces, and yeah, look, he risked four thousand. He made a min raise with queen eight suited. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, wow, wow, look at this. This has a wow. This could be a big pot, although this could test Vanessa Russo, right? Well, but the other thing is Daniel's looking right at her, and Vanessa's got that too. Wheel. She's looking at him. Right? And, and if Daniel senses he's strong, he may check. He did check. Now, Daniel, uh, you know, I mean, well he's a favorite to win this hand right now, actually. Look at the stats on the board there. And he, he knows that. I mean, against most of her holdings, right? Right. But he busted her uh, in the NBC heads up when he played big pots against her. Right. And so I know that he wants to play smaller pots against her here. Right. Just because he's ahead doesn't mean he wants to gamble. It's something marginal, right? Exactly, exactly. I mean, basically, at the NBC heads up, I mean, they met in the Elite Eight. I met, uh, I met Elkie in the Elite Eight, too. And, uh, but Daniel made the mistake of playing some big pots with some weak hands against no, Vanessa, Eli, and uh, so Vanessa like knows that, so she's not only going to call the 12, she's <laughs> capable of just raising it right here, to be honest. How often does Daniel show up for the 10 right now? She's going to at least call, call yeah. conservative play, yeah, she called. So this pot, now Daniel's little 12k bet there gave him a chance to win the pot, and it gave him a free, cheaper draw, which he now missed. So now he has a decision to make, and, and I think he's just going to check and just give up. 
Queen high. Checked right behind him. Yep. And he was he looked like he was getting called. What do you think? Oh, he was getting 100 percent. He was going to get <laughs> snap called. I'm telling you, Daniel saved money with that play. Try not to say like I think I have to call. Okay, you were talking so about Daniel got just a little <laughs> impatient with the queen eight suited, <laughs> and uh, which was okay. He only opened for four thousand. <laughs> just an idea, maybe that Daniel feels like, hey, the blinds are low. I'm gonna try and get in there and see if I can win some pots. I've learned my lesson. Not now, Tamshenko with Ace King is a much different animal. He's probably gonna re-raise it here, unlike Roland. And he's on the button here. On the history of it would be really unorthodox like for, that, for him so not to really raise, right? Yeah, but y Roland just did Olympics that same Olympics. move and won a big pot with it, and and you know, Tamshenko, it's Daniel. They all they always factor in their opponents too. Raise is I like the raise though. I mean, I just I, I like it more than just the call, and I think What's Roland should have re-raised too. But sturdy raise from Yevgeny up to 24. Let's see if Daniel wants to gamble, because <laughs> the old Daniel's capable of calling 18,000 here. Serious? Oh yeah, and the new Daniel won't. It would not be a horrible call. I mean, he's, he's not that bad a shape. He's gonna gamble. Now, Daniel, what what it tells me, he's called a re-raise with 10-7 suited. It tells me that he puts Yevgeny on ace-king or ace-queen. He doesn't think Yevgeny has a bigger pair, because he wouldn't take a flop if he thought he had a big pair. Wow, so what if it comes like 10 well, high or something? Got a when you're there, isn't it? <laughs> or even that. <laughs> if he thinks Timoshenko's got ace king, <laughs> can he make a play here? Well, he, he has to check. Um, I'm, I kind of like the check. I, I don't, you know, I like the check because now Timoshenko has to, has a, has a, has a, Timoshenko has a tough decision here. You know, did Daniel call a re-raise with two eights or two nines, and is Daniel going to now... I mean, it's hard to put Daniel on a hand that doesn't beat ace-king. So in Temshenko's mind, he's bluffing right now. And he's risking getting blown off the pot. Wow! No, he... He's not gonna, is he? Not this if early. Daniel anymore. makes a spectacular play here. I just, I, I'm gonna have to just give him max credit and say that was yeah. sensational. I don't think he can pull the trigger here, but at the one-two level, does it make sense? It was tough. Yeah. If he puts him on ace king or ace queen, if he sees something in his play, uh, you know. I mean, what? I give Daniel a lot of credit for just thinking. Look, he, he got involved in this hand, and 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 you know, look. Oh, he's having a real look at Yevgeny. Wow. Look, he's putting him to the, he's putting him under the broiler. I will give Daniel just a ton of credit here if he raises. What would look? It would be the best move of the day so far, by far. And and what about just calling here and then trying to make a play on the turn? No, I mean, no, 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 no. You gotta, Yevgeny you gotta won't gotta buy it. No. Right. You got to make your play right now. And Timoshenko got it through. He does look a little worried. Well, he, Tamashenko is assuming that he bluffed because he can't imagine Daniel calling 18,000 having him beat. Tamashenko has a smile. He thinks he bluffed Daniel. He doesn't know that uh, Daniel uh, was thinking about actually bluffing him. By the way, 10-7 suited is Daniel's favorite hand, and that's kind of a famous fact about Daniel. So... I I ever heard that. It is uh, the end of the first level, Phil. Blinds are going to be up to two and four thousand. Who got the best of it? If Daniel would have pulled the trigger there, then, I mean, I would have just said, wow. I mean, that was pretty phenomenal. He's playing against a young, aggressive internet player, thinking about turning his aggression against him. JC Tran, you know, was kind of lucky to me. Uh, but but it's playing, he, he made a really good move with the ace just of spades. So give him credit for that. And the, the two young guns, Timoshenko and Schwartz, have the highest aggression factors. Maybe that should be expected. Still eight in this heat. All of them out for a win, trying to get that good start to their Premier League. But plenty more poker to be played in a moment. Welcome back to Premier League Poker 4. Still six remain at the table for our first league match of the season. So let's get back to the commentary team of Phil Helmuth and Jesse May. 
Back at the table, second level has begun. Blinds up to two and four thousand. Everyone's still smiling. Well, almost everyone. I don't know if Tim Oshenko has got a smile in him. Doesn't mean he's not a lot of fun. Why? You got Phil like talking to you the whole way through, <laughs> and like he doesn't have anyone else on the other side to talk to. Yeah. Oh, right, so you don't get it chopped up at all. <laughs> so I'm enjoying it. Never stops, <laughs> and usually the old days, you know. Yep. He's making fun. Has Luke opened this? He's if he's very impatient, isn't he? Yeah, he's he's made a move with the jack five. Roland called with King Jack suited. He hasn't just buried. Here's Daniel with King Jack offsuit. Is this a squeeze opportunity for Daniel? Oh Daniel's not a huge Daniel squeezer. Saved me four thousand. Who I was gonna call that for? Wow. He is now. The new Daniel. He is now. That's amazing. I, I you know, I, Daniel has changed his game so what much. It's crazy. I give him credit though. I mean, I, I didn't like his. I didn't like it when he was just calling, just calling, just calling. You have to come over the top and pick up some free chips when you sense weakness. And and he sensed some weakness in Luke, and uh, he didn't care what Roland had. He was just going to make the re-raise. He has said that he's trying to learn from these young guys, trying to imitate them. You know, if it's possible, uh, add to his game. Looks like he's. he's He's done everything right so far, hasn't he? Well, he yeah. I mean, he uh, called the re-race with 10-7 of spades was Help a little, little loose. <laughs> was. That was more like the old Daniel. <laughs> yeah. um, oh. But he was thinking about check-raising the flop, which is the new Daniel. Raise to 11,000. And uh, he's Double picked up the aces, yeah. he's picked up the queens, and I think sometimes that oh. can settle you down a little bit. They love the Jack-8 suited. <laughs> That's the third time in this match it's been played. And it seems like people very, very willing to get into pots with Ian Fraser. Yeah. Well, JC's in a lot of trouble right now. Sure is. And he has an open and straight draw. Ian yep, just has to bet this. He can't let a free king or a jack pop off there or whatever. <coughs> now, JC, it's going to be interesting to see how he plays this. I think he'll just call, but he's capable of raising. We didn't see JC get himself in a lot of trouble last year or even this year. So, so I mean, some of that I attributed to his reading ability, but now we're going to see. He needs the nine, needs the king. Nine is just the beautiful card for him. That makes yeah. things interesting. He could represent. Yeah. And Fra does Fraser have to check that there? I like the check. I mean, the only card he has to worry about on the river is a nine. Right. So. Now the idea is, you if he bet bets, 10, okay. You got to bet ten thousand here. I mean, fourteen. Bet fourteen thousand. You got to bet and hope they don't raise. <laughs> you think JC does have? Is it his his reading abilities? Is it hand base or is he really looking at people for physical tells like yourself? Oh yeah, he's looking for people for physical tells. I mean, uh, JC is JC is a natural born hold'em player. You got to give him credit. I mean, um, I think in Europe they talk about whether someone's in form or not. And I mean, it's just there's clearly a correlation between being in form and results. I mean, some some World Series of poker, y'all you know, come out smoking and make a bunch of final tables, and then for the first time ever in 09, I didn't make a single final table. Yeah. Being in form also to me encompasses the way you're playing and you know and and also you know. There's a little luck in there, too. It's amazing. I mean, that you Schwartz can't... is playing a, a bigger percentage of pots than anybody out there. That's <laughs> it really a, is. It's a tough thing to do if you want to <coughs> win. It 
it gives you a lot of tricky decisions, doesn't it? It really does. And and here's a, here's one where he's in great shape. He has top pair and a, the seven of spades. And it just so happens that Vanessa has two deuces with the deuce of spades. She'll probably call 10,000 here with the deuces. She beats so many hands, and the hands that she doesn't beat, a lot of them she's got a good draw against. Well, you know, plus Vanessa is is probably going to think what I think, and that's that if she doesn't have the best hand, she might get to the river for 10,000. He brought 60 bucks out of his pocket, and he goes, and those guys didn't do very good. Would raising serve any purpose? Wow, she yeah. played it down. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't blame her for folding. And Luke's sort of run and gun style is uh, is definitely going to give him the opportunity to win and lose some big pots. Meanwhile, Kara's over with a poker legend watching this heat play out. I'm here with Mike Sexton, and your teammate Ian Fraser is on this table in this heat. What do you think of his position at the table? Well, I think the three most aggressive players are sitting behind him on his left. That doesn't favor him well, but he's played very well. He did great in our heats. He obviously won the heat that I was trying to get the seat in, and, you know, I fancy his chances. I know that you got J.C. Tran, the defending champion there, and, of course, you always have to respect Daniel Negrano. He really understands tournament strategy, when to move chips and when not to, and he'll understand uh, all the strategic efforts it'll take to win this title. But uh, I give Ian a good shot. I really do. Well, thanks for your input on it. Yeah. Thank you. Go in. All the party <laughs> poker pros really bonded <laughs> during their time here. You know they'll all be rooting for Fraser to do well in this Premier League. You still wait for a better spot. And uh, a little raise from <laughs> Phil Locke up to 12,000. 3x. There's like a clip on, uh, on YouTube. Tomoshenko always sure takes a little whatnot, time before he makes his decision. Like, I think like call. Someone and the decision is space. call. It didn't. Um, Oh, it's going to be the face and, uh, cards like against the pocket pairs as Fraser like comes in from the small block. blind. I didn't see that one. And it's on YouTube, but it's like, like poker after dark rigs. Or eight on the wall. Hmm. Search that. Could have been they got the cards wrong, you know, or they could have just been a foul deck. Yeah, I mean. I think he was just counting out the pot odds, and he probably just barely didn't have enough. Someone, like, I think it was oh, we're three ways. Like King Jack of Spades, and he came like... Right. A king of spades in the flop, and someone had yeah. like a jack of spades in their hand. Now who's going to win this pot? Wow, you have Kenny. He, he gets really still. And people call him an online player, but he won that 25,000 WPT. I waited six months for a super Very tough hand. tournament. Well, I mean, look at Tomashenko's look. He's going to lay this down. Wowie. I might not have been in first place. It's possible. I wasn't now, in first place. Ian thinks he has the best hand. Thought he had the best hand. That's why he bet. Um, it turns out that Tamashenko would have bet that Ian would have probably called, and they probably would have checked it down. So that's the difference between, you know, someone betting. and Very interesting that Tamashenko would lay it down that quickly. 11, yeah. Those, those Just didn't seem to want any part of it. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, you know, you got to give Phil Locke two over cards. Now he folds. Here, and then, you know, well, what do you give uh, Frazier? I, mean, I guess it kind of feels like we've seen Frazier's cards. We kind of know he's tightened up. But these guys think he's playing everything. You know, they don't know he had the aces and the queens and the pocket yeah, 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 pairs, right? They must think he's playing the 10-4 yeah, 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 yeah. and, the, you know, the 9-7. Well, the the and the, okay. I mean, they've seen visual evidence of the ace-five right. suited, so. Play it one time. That's, that's all. Wow, Vanessa limped in with five, six of hearts. That's cool. And they didn't get uh, higher stakes. Th and there is this thing. I mean, I, I don't know if Timoshenko is going to, but. He did. Yeah. He <laughs> I mean, it's amazing. It's right. amazing how the new breed of players, every time somebody limps, they raise. And there's times in tournaments where every time someone limps, I'll raise it. I mean, I've done it myself. But look at this. Yeah. This is exactly. See, and this is, this is the new breed of player, right? He spotted that. I mean, that's he's pretty strong, that. isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I give Luke Schwartz a lot of credit here for this move. And is it going to get through? Is Timoshenko got got a remove in him? You move to that table, right? Well, see, it's interesting. He knows he's against an online player. If Daniel would have re-raised it, he would have laid it down. Uh, if a lot of people would have raised it, he would have laid it down. I don't think there's much that, that Timoshenko could do here. I mean, really. This is like, auto, it was automatic play for Timoshenko, automatic play for Schwartz, and now, 
Is there a four bed? God, he's thinking about it. It's starting to, the server is trying to get it's more likely with each passing. Luke, how much did you stir the hand with? Two eight. eight. Now, see, Tamashenko asking his opponent. Now, if he senses any weakness, he might just ship it. If he senses any weakness, he might just re-raise here. He's going for it, isn't he, Phil? He's really thinking of going for it. It's like he knows exactly what Luke's up to. Great move. Re-raise. It's a great move. 82,000. He did! He did it! Are you serious? No way! This is, I have no never, way. oh my, I'm standing up. No I just way. stood up. I just stood up and said, wow. I mean, they both read each other as having weak hands. That's a pretty big own, though, isn't oh. it? That's a very <laughs> large <laughs> own. What do you call that? A, a pretty, pretty large own. <laughs> That's why I like limping. Oh my God! He didn't show the hand. Yes, he did. He it. showed it. What a gutsy play <laughs> from Luke Schwartz! Oh my God! <laughs> Kenny, he's laughing. Don't do that to me, please! Don't do that to me! Oh my <laughs> goodness! I'm he standing up, old. saying, "Wow!" He's not with all six. Yeah. Call with all the any ace. No, not with any ace. Just so a four and six, so we can have them What a crazy! I mean, uh, it's high. insane. You had, you had crush, right? You're like ten. Five eight. ace, four ace, six. I induce. <laughs> that is sickness. <laughs> probably two, six, <laughs> and uh, to, everybody's taking note of that. Trust me. Everybody's like, "What the <laughs> hell just happened there?" The oh. Timing and the showing the comment was perfect. It was like, that's, like, that's a pretty big, big own. That's a pretty big own. <laughs> it was a pretty big own. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. So if basically, if someone limps, you're going to try and raise the fire. <laughs> you know what's really funny about that hand, Phil? It all happened because that's Vanessa Russo Vanessa. limped. <laughs> that's right, that's right, that's right. <laughs> Just because oh she flies in for 4,000 with a 5-6 suited. Ace-5 suited or something. They said if you had ace, you'd be cool. <laughs> they, they oh. The funny thing is about Daniel in this hand with 6-5 suited against 6-6. Six, six. That's 11. How much do I have to lose? He has a higher yeah. percentage to win control. than the 6 is. Hey, Not mathematically. Control, right. Because you're going to show the stats there. See, he's only 16% to 40%. But Daniel has a better chance of winning the pot than Phil Locke. Because he, he will bet a lot of straight and flush draws. Oh, my God. Bye-bye, Daniel. Wow. First player out in the Premier League. Holy cow. Bye-bye. He's going broke. Yeah. Well, you know, it 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 unless Phil Locke lets him off the hook and plays it slow. Oh my god. Good job. It's yeah. literally the funniest thing. And they've got almost the same stacks. Wow, what a brutal flop for Daniel. Yeah. Yeah. You lay down the dead and and No, no hope there. for even heart heart. There's no hearts on board. It's a complete pullback. Let's see what Phil Locke does. I mean, does if Phil Locke, yeah, he made the raise. Raise. Now Daniel, 69, the only thing Daniel's worried about here is a set. I mean, he knows he can beat kings and aces uh, and queens even. Me. Yes, sir. I always like those fours. I do like fours. I'm very comfortable, Daniel. You think you got it, huh? Well, I'll tell you this, that our hands might mesh in a funny way. I'd love to know what you have. <laughs> you might find out. But I'm comfortable right now. Phil Helmuth, tell him how comfortable I am. Why would you tell him how comfortable you are? He's giving Daniel a chance to get away. Phil's telling him how comfortable I am. The people at home know for tr for the truth. They can see it. You don't care what I do, do you? He doesn't care. He doesn't care what I do. It depends. What do you have? All right, I'll just go all in. I call. You got a set? Yeah. Oh, that's great. I'm dead. Tens? Sixes. All right, I'm drawing completely dead. <laughs> Thanks wow. for gambling with us. Look, I mean, <laughs> what, what could Daniel do there? I mean, right. you know, I it was mean, just a cooler. It's a very once he bet twenty five thousand on the flop yeah. and Phil like Locke raised it. And you're, 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 you're I thought Phil Locke made a mistake yeah. by yeah. saying he was comfortable because Daniel was going with that hand if he didn't say that. Yeah, have you covered by ten? Okay. I think I just double check it. Is that right, JC? One. 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 Right. By 9,000, I have you covered. It's like a million draws out there. Huh? I have you covered by 9,000.
It's good well, this it. is going to make it yeah. tough for Daniel Negreanu, <laughs> the bagel, in right. the first heat Come of on, his everybody. first Premier League. Right, that was a dramatic river card. You look pretty comfortable. <laughs> all right, guys. All right, buddy. That's all right. There's plenty of time. No, no. Day off. I can, I can lament. <laughs> what a shot. So looking at the leaderboard, Phil Locke, the big double up. That's why he's got those chips. I mean, what a lucky flop for him. I mean, you know, I mean, you saw it before where people were in there with pocket sixes or pocket fives. A lot of hands where it could have been a set and someone else could have connected. And then, you know, for Daniel to flop two pair and Phil Locke to you know, flop a set there was just cold. I mean, come on. And our first player out in the first heat is Daniel Negreanu, and it's no surprise given that cooler hand, right? No, absolutely. There's really nothing you can do in a spot like that. 10, 5, 6, you've got two pair. He could have a flush draw. He could have straight draws. He could have a pair of fives and a flush draw. Um, very unlikely he has a set of sixes or a set of fives because I've got a six and a five. Right. The set of tens is a possibility, but I thought maybe in position he would re-raise there with that hand. And So really, you know, uh, unlucky, but uh, it's the first heat. Luckily, there's three more. Welcome back. Always thrilled to be joined by Phil Helmuth. And Phil, I mean, the reason people love watching Premier League poker, they, they know it takes so much skill to win. What people really want to watch when it comes to, to Texas Hold'em is not the highlights, just the highlights. Everybody watches the highlights and talks about them. But people want to learn. They want to watch more, a bigger cross-section of the hands, and that's what we're giving them this year. There she is again with the ace-jack. Under the gun folding. She raised with 8-9 and yet folded ace-jack. So maybe Ace Jack is a trash hand. So we're all in <laughs> has to re raise here. Is that defense strategy number one against a guy who's opening as many pots as Luke is? You're going to have to three bet him or else you're playing into his hands? In his mind, he wants to give Schwartz a chance to move in with another 4 6. Right. And that's what it's about. I mean, this spot was supposed to be Roland raising and JC Tran calling with two fours. But, you know, Schwartz has somehow gotten in there, and I don't think Schwartz will try the same move against Roland. I mean, that much. If you're going to shove that, you... I know you've got nothing. You'd make like, you make it like 82. No, I wouldn't. I'd just shove, because I know you've got nothing, but I can't be bothered now. <laughs> <laughs> I could still shove, though. There's another way you looked at my chips there when I just pushed you just nearly out of panic attack. So should we try it? Lot if I just do this. There's no way I'd be shocked if Luke tried to similar though, to how you were with the Ace King hand. 34, 36. Confident in it. I see it. I see it. I want to see it later, would you have? Even still, <laughs> see, the old Roland was capable of having anything there. I want to see it later, you might as well say. Well, I told Ian what, what I had versus him. <laughs> so? So? Spread the love. When Roland looks right at you and says something to you, oftentimes it's just, I just get an overwhelming feeling of strength when he's strong. You know, now I don't know if I'll be able to take advantage of that. Will Roland. You know, will I be able to make a great lay down against him or a great movement on him? I don't know, but he, he did look at him and asked, what do you have? I mean, he talked to him before he made the move. He made it awfully quick, too. I mean, yeah. he acted very quickly, which also uh, indicates talking about strength. And the guy turns. Brand of the chip leader. And the one thing JC hasn't done yet is three bet. Uh, oh, he had quite ten. comfortable taking off flops, even nine. if he's out of and position, which he is. Right. I was thinking about the ripple from other people's stacks when they play him. Yeah. Oh, right. Yep. The glass, <laughs> Phil says, Phil. Yeah, Ooh. Uh, yes, the best hand. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, now. I mean, he checked right behind him, I, which is okay. I mean, he's... It's, it's a tough hand to play out of position, King-10 for the small blind. Now, I can should bet something yeah. here. I mean, he should bet 10,000. Mm. Open the door for JC. Gave him a free shot at the king. But look, that's okay. I might have checked there, too. I mean, wow. Very unlucky card for Phil Locke. Though. But he might not pay it off either. I mean, he might have decided I'm going to check down and lay it down. 
that 15 valve. JC is very unorthodox, though, in some ways, isn't he? I mean, call in there with the King-10. Can you push the pop flat? Feels like a lot of people wouldn't do it. He's very comfortable, though, isn't he? Well, I would. I, I don't blame him for calling the race there. I mean, Phil Locke raced on the button, and JC Tran called in the small blind. And JC just checked it down. It's a tough spot for Phil Locke. I mean, he... It looks like, it, I mean, from a player's point of view, it looks like JC hasn't generated, or he has nothing. I mean, all right. Oh, I think I'm winning. He was Very winning the whole way, Phil. Anything. You had the you best hand the whole the way. Sometimes I end up calling on the river when they you make the weird the hand to beat me, because I know that I had him the, the whole way, and so I can't turn that off somehow, you know. I think I was holding this a lot of the time, I think. He's that just the Queen-10, he just <laughs> value bet, Queen-10. The condition was upgraded to a lie. <laughs> he keeps line. guessing he's going to get it sooner or later. Phil's thinking well, though. I like yeah. what he's saying. Yeah. You know. Oh. I have a 10. Queen 10? I'm the worst. I just want to check that they didn't change. Yep, they didn't change. Trend takes lock. I'm the worst! <laughs> yeah, he Phil, Phil's upset much. that he didn't bet the turn. He doesn't mind the fact that he checked the flop. But right. on the turn, that he was knew a... I was supposed to bet the turn. It was so obvious, right, too. I have right, the best Phil. hand. He knows I have the best hand. The seven's a blank. It's like trivial. Exactly. Exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, see, Phil Locke is right in what he's saying. He knows he should have bet the turn. I can't handle a raise. It was coming. It was coming. The raise was coming. But he knows that what I have. <laughs> the raise was coming, for sure. It would have been 35,000, whatever your bet was. On the turn, oh, God, if I bet. JC. Good luck, We're on Thank hand you. 43, I think. Is that what it is? Yeah. Chip leader right now, Phil Locke. The one pot, the big pot, knocking out Negrano with the set against two pair. And his strategy right now, Phil Locke, probably going to be to just sit around a little bit, huh? Yeah, I think I think that Phil Locke will. Uh, yeah, I think he will sit around. I mean, why wouldn't he? I mean, he's. I, I like the way Phil plays. I like the way he's been thinking. He he's basically he's not afraid to steal a few blinds in late position, to kind of maintain his position. JC, I always find it incredible because. You, you think of JC, you think he's so solid, he doesn't get in traps. But when you look at his uh, his percentage of hands played, he does get in a lot more pots than most people. He does. He does play. I don't think the players last year noticed that he was playing as many hands. I think the players this year will notice. And uh, look, if Ian makes a raise here, that's terrific stuff. And maybe he's back in, in form here. Um, Yep, he's back in form. Look, that was a very nice re-raise there. And uh, it's basically turning his ace into a bluff, right? And that's what he should be doing. I mean, well, he's not turning it. He, he realizes that, that JC will raise with 9, 10. And JC's shown a bunch of weak <coughs> hands that he's raised with before the flop in late position. And uh, Ian said, look, ace, there's a good chance my ace is the best hand here. 41. Yeah, the, the four bet is... <coughs> Is it an option? Is it in play? Is it reckless? I, you know, I doubt you'll see JC make a move. Now, JC's great at reading people, and he might and he might decide to just push the envelope a little bit this time because he knows it's not going to cost him all of his chips <coughs> if he makes a move and he's wrong. Um, but, yeah, the safe, much well, safer play is to lay it down. That? And for Ian Fraser, that'll yeah, be a big confidence builder. He went he with his change. read, like and it worked out. He folded his ace nine, and it was the right Look, ball. we know that Ian's in form. He won to make it into this field. Yeah, and it was a tough six-player final he had to beat. Yeah, him. Mike Sexton was in there, and some, and some of the party poker pros were in that thing. And so when he made the call with sixes against Roland, he must have just been sick to his stomach <laughs> and was feeling really negative and like, what the hell's going on here, and do I deserve to even be here? And now he's made a move over the top of JC, and he's like, you know what? I might deserve to be here. And a couple of face cards. Two kings for Ian. I mean, the guy Is gets it? like a big pair every hand, too. Wow. I mean, don't take too much time. You want to raise quickly because you want to give the crazy players on your left a chance to re-raise you. Now, 
chance for Schwartz to get himself in trouble. He hasn't re-raised, but it's definitely playing the flop. Oh yeah, this is this is a horrible situation for Schwartz here. I mean, he yeah. because Frazier's yeah. a guy that could bust him too. I mean, if it comes a jack, if it comes jack high, uh, Schwartz is going to lose a lot of chips as fast as he plays. And uh, Fraser, tricky check there. I like the check. Well. Oh, that was an escape hatch. Very fortunate for Schwartz. The, you know, I mean, that's, that's what we've been waiting for, is he's made these spectacular moves so far. But that's what you have to look for, is when the spectacular moves don't work. Right. Um, and so, I mean, you could watch one of these heats, and you could think that somebody's the world's greatest poker player. And then when you watch them play the next 10 heats and they, they get called every single bluff, then they look horrible. And the yeah, theoretically, that's <laughs> the great thing about this league format. It, you have to be repetitive. I mean, you can't just have one result. Exactly. Last night we were out with Phil Lack, <laughs> JC Tran, <laughs> and the Asian poker tour crew. Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> Rhodes doing an imitation of uh, someone on the rail. He does great imitations, Roland. <laughs> he does a pretty good Phil Helmuth, I think. Timoshenko with 15K raised. DeWolf with eights. Very interesting to see how he plays his hand. Oh. And Roland's just yeah. playing, you know, kind of the party line, super conservative. Uh, I had a hand to raise, but I just couldn't risk losing this guy. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to pop for the dead money in case something happens? He ha he is looking What's like a like more like mature business suit type of Roland DeWolf. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's going to get himself in trouble yeah. here. I mean, because it's hard to put anybody on a nine. He let Locke in, and Locke's got him beat. Best way to find out here with the lead out? He is a guy who does this quite often, doesn't he? Leading out here into Razors. <coughs> and Phil Locke really has to call. I mean, there's not that many hands. I mean, he, he can beat 9-8 suited. He can beat A6. Too many hands he can beat. Um, wow, he went ahead and raised it. Raise? And okay, the thing I like about his raise is the last time he made that raise, he had a set. So even if Roland had a pair like 10s or jacks, uh, Phil Locke has, has given himself a chance to win the pot. You can pull in 28. It's, this is what is, looks good. 28. It's a min raise. Now, because he made oh, this min the, raise, because Locke guy. made this raise, you know, let's not even speculate. I mean, if for somehow Ro Roland could figure out that Phil Locke was weak, he could make a re-raise, but that's just very unlikely. I think Roland's going to fold. And such a big percentage of his stack, right? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. He's counting them up, but is it? Is it? Would it be rash here? I mean, would Phil fold to a re-raise? Um, yeah, but I don't think Roland can pull the trigger here. Are you comfortable? See, now Roland is sensing, see, see, now Roland's asking, see, Roland You're is so very comfortable smart. comfortable with Daniel before. Right, and Roland senses that Phil Locke doesn't quite have mm -hmm. the hand, you know, a strong hand. But it turns out Phil has enough to beat Roland. Right. Would calling fold. here. Uh, that was a good fold, sir. Much ado about nothing. <laughs> I, I think it was. Took the sensible option there, DeWolf, and Locke increases his lead. And I didn't know if I was comfortable. We'll find out if he can increase his stranglehold on the field after this. <laughs> Welcome back to Heat Ooh, 1 of over. Premier League Poker Three. 4. Mike Sexton there watching the proceedings. I have a lot of respect for Mike Sexton. He also has been great for me. I mean, he's, you know, he every time I'm down at the final table, he predicts I'm going to win it. I remember hearing about a prop bet that uh, I think uh, Mike Sexton made with Chip Reese, the late Chip Reese. He bet on you to win uh, to win a World Series bracelet. And when uh, when they got down to four players, uh, 
Chip Reese came up and asked to settle because everyone was so sure you were going to win. And you did. Here's a hand here. Very interesting. Luke against Roland again. Roland has to re raise again with the aces. He doesn't really want to lose Luke, but he already re raised him once. And he has to re raise again. He has to make Luke think that he's weak. Schwartz doesn't bite. Maybe if he had a little stronger hand, or maybe not. That's some nice hands when I raise them across, yeah. don't you? <laughs> That's exactly right, Luke. Twice Luke raised and twice Roland repopped with ace king suited and two aces. The problem is Roland has to re raise. He doesn't want to re raise. He wants to give Luke a lot of, you know, room to hang himself. But his best chance of busting Luke is to re raise and have Luke move in with his queen six or a seven three or whatever it is. Yeah. It, it, it feels like a spot where you would want to call and trap him, but you're better off trapping him the other way yeah he's very aggressive from the button jc almost all the time now i'd, I'd be surprised if vanessa didn't re-raise here she saw she saw somebody re-raise him once already she knows he's been raising with 9 10 they all have that dialed into their computers so yeah. Which isn't bad, 35, you know? 35,000. <laughs> and, I mean, Tran is the kind of player, he raises, he doesn't mind, he gets re-raised, just lays it down, right? Exactly. See, that all Premier Le League last year, all year long, uh, JC rarely got re-raised. And, you know? Wow. Now so he's made a very loose call here, uh, thinking that Vanessa doesn't have a pair, that she's aggressive enough to raise with a hand like Ace Jack. The JC's thinking she has Ace Jack or maybe two tens or you know or something like that. Both flopped a pair. Vanessa's biggest. Now Vanessa could go broke here if she checks the flop and a four and he pops off. But I think she's going to fire out. If she bets small, JC's gonna call. If she bets big, she's gonna take it down. <laughs> 76,000 in there, and Vanessa's playing on 290 back. It was a, it was a verbal thing for a while, and then he went in and started wow. Okay, now that check was um, was okay. I mean, she, she she's also thinking there's a possibility that JC called the raise with a king high before the flop. Like a king, queen, or king, jack, and therefore he's drawing dead. Now, he did call with king high, but he happened to hit a four, so happened to have a four with it. So she's, 37, she's, she's trying to sort of rep like a medium pair or something like she that. She made a good check here, got him to bet 37,000. She, There's no way she's just going to call. She's okay. raising. Um, yeah, I, I'm wrong. Oh. I, she wow. just called. This is tricky for by her, right? Well, I mean, you know, she goes broke to a, a four for sure. King would be just horrible luck or a four or four. <coughs> okay, no king or four. Okay. Now he's gonna check it. 150,000 in there. If Tran decides to go double or triple barrel, he is in big trouble, right? She's just not someone who lays down a lot of hands. I mean, that's just not her style. She's got him. She's got him! I'd be very surprised if she didn't move in here. JC has fallen into her trap. 68,000. I mean, it's possible. I mean, I, I just don't see her folding, but I'd be very surprised if she folded here. I mean, because if he had Ace King, he would have probably re raised before the flop, so. Wow. She has so underrepresented her hand. She's going to get max value if he triple barrels. Uh, if no king or four comes, JC's been so lucky at the Premier League so far. But probably a king or four is coming. But, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, the guy has. Okay, now she's going to check it again. Check. check. Smart check. And for Tran, 286,000 in there. She's hung him out to dry. She really has. She really has played this hand well. I mean, you know. Gutsy, right? Yeah, really gutsy. I, I may have been tempted to raise it on a turn, um, thinking I'm not going to get more money on the river. Um, and, and in that sense, and maybe a raise on the turn would have been better. Um, wow. Defending champion JC Tran. Is, is he going to go for it? Well, you see, JC in the Premier League, everything he did worked for a, an entire year. And, I mean, he was lucky to have that happen. Don't misunderstand me. He's a natural horn, born Hold'em player. And I give him a lot of credit. But everything he did worked. And so, therefore, 
he, you know, is thinking about making one more big move, thinking everything that he did last year worked. Has he underestimated Vanessa Russo? Jeez. I didn't like she just did that. She shouldn't have just slammed her chips down. She just needs to just sit there and be still. The fact that she just slammed her chips down and sat like I'm ready was bad, but. Oh my! She's got him! How much is it? Well, she's definitely not folding. 123. 123 she might raise. You don't have much back. Good call. Call? Good call. I got a four. Look at that! Look at that! So it's a different year, and it's a different J.C. Tran. Um, you know, what looked invincible last year, he got away with all these close moves. Doesn't quite look as good this year. And, and I'm not surprised by that. It's putting you on the ace jacket. Okay, now we, before we were having these little quips about beaten by a girl, but that was, like, whipped by a girl. I was, <laughs> was beating myself. I think it was a little bit whipped. I'm put you on the, the ace so jack, ace queen range, but when you check the river. Deuce the hang. Pain, you know, I was awesome. leaning more towards the ace jack. <laughs> I think I can get, I think Wait, I can get there's her. There's a lot in there. You want to take a stab at it. I get it. I know I can't win right. without with checking. Probably get her before me sending the jack. And you got to give Vanessa credit. The way she played I that hand, do, Phil. I would have been. T I would have popped it on 4th Street. But then again, I don't know if they would have tried to bluff me on the river. So it's a different pr player. You had a four, you said? I mean, that's yes. that's a good thing, when, when especially for a female who's <laughs> oh thinking, all right, look, here's what's going on. The boys think they can bluff me. Therefore, I'm going to give them a chance to Since bluff I'll me. Since I'll be getting three, but I'll just live the ones. Oh. Not me, boys. Oh. That was a sick hand. Here's JC. Well, a good spot for him to have this hand. Yeah, he's going to go all in. And he, I wouldn't be surprised if Luke calls him. He doesn't want to go all in because he wants action. Raise 27,000. Hmm. How much did you have to start the hand? And when he finds out the answer to this, is it going to influence him more to re-raise or more to call? I have 67 behind. So you got no fold equity at this point, really, have you? Maybe not. <laughs> I don't think so. I should probably still shove anyway, but... Well, he could call here. I mean, hand off, you get so owned. How can you have such a big hand? <laughs> wow, <laughs> after you get so owned, he just came right out and said it. Luke, with no discretion. Of course, I should be careful what I say. <laughs> he certainly says what he thinks. I think he's going to find a fault here. Well, it wouldn't be bad to call 21 there. And I mean, you know, I mean, it takes an over pair to have him beat. If he calls 21, uh, you know, and JC moves in, you know, on an 8-4 deuce board, then Luke's going to get all the money in his big favor. <sighs> Phil, this guy's got good instincts. I mean, it's like the logic tells him to re-raise, and his instincts telling him to pass. Well, not necessarily. He limped under the gun with sevens. He knows JC's a tight player, so the question is, does JC have ace-king, ace-queen, uh, king-queen suited, or does he actually have a pair above sevens? That's, that's what he has to be thinking. And... Um, JC does have, you know, a very strong hand. He has ace king, which is one of the top three, four hands. So maybe Luke is getting that confused with them having jacks or queens. Just don't play well enough. Doesn't play well enough. Okay. JC, oh. take the pot. My question is, were lay you down. really steaming or were you doing the, they think I'm okay. steaming, yeah, but I'm not steaming. Semi. He's picking on you. Yeah, he's trying he, to pick on me, isn't he? He picks on the weak. I, I was ready for the 6-4. Oh. He targets players before they before the tournament. He, I think he wants to get his toughest... Uh, You're right in the center of the bullseye, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. 
That was a big pot, by the way, for JC. I mean, if he was. gets called there, if he gets called there, and he could easily have been called I'm, by Luke the there for 20,000 more. In fact, I'm yeah, surprised Luke it. didn't call him like 20 girl. more. Uh, JC oh, could easily have been there. Girl. Put himself in bad shape. Tim Oshenko, who's been pretty quiet since he lost the big pot to Luke. He's on about, oh, 25 big blinds or so. When I get the branches right wow, he has like shorts just in bad shape here. But there's only one ten left in the deck. Schwartz just doesn't want it to come queen eight or a ten. <laughs> um, considering leading out, I'll give a check instead. I don't see Evgeny checking here. <laughs> Oh, money, the super along. aggressive style <laughs> continuation uh -huh. bet almost always. Yeah. 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 Sure. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Strange that Luke. Uh, I don't. I, so I wasn't expecting him to fold. I was very strong on East Ten and East Jack. A, a nice card for Tim Oshenko, right? Great card for Osh for Shenko, Tamashenko. I mean, now he has a nut flush draw against a straight draw, and then, you know, look, Schwartz is going to win this 11 percent of the time. And could Schwartz be playing an ace like this? Could be. Tamashenko did check. Well, the queen high is good right now. It still is. Is Luke obligated to bet? Luke, I think, will bet. Um, I don't think, I just don't see Tamashenko, if he calls him, he can only beat 8-9, 4-5, 8-10, 5-8. There's only a few hands in the deck Tamashenko can beat, so he's forced to lay it down. And he's going to show this one, too, I guess. <laughs> he's just, I mean, he has just, he's, he's owned, he's ruled Yevgeny. He's still value that, isn't it? No. He's just the best flight. Yeah. Out of straight through, though. A ton of clubs. When Temeshenko re raced with King Jack earlier in that monster pot where he <laughs> moved in with the 4 6, Temeshenko did everything right. He yeah. smelled weakness, he made the move, right. and he was just, he just ran into some, you know, just crazy, uber aggressive <laughs> Stu Unger like <laughs> move, uh, you know, and then he, he was forced to lay it down, but did he do anything wrong? No. Raising under the gun. Well, look at Tran, man. This is how you win the I Premier mean, League, yeah, right? I mean, you know, I mean. Is that what the first guy is told about the <laughs> The guy kind of <laughs> caught every, I mean, he caught a lot of breaks last year. Phil, he's he's just smooth called here. With yeah, the good aces. play. I mean, I like that. Holding the small line. Huh? Holding the small line. No, I'm just saying it's, and it's <laughs> unlikely. Is this more because he's hoping to trap Phil Locke lock or hoping to trap someone into a squeeze around back? He's a short stack, so when you when you're short, you want to gamble with aces. I mean, you know, he only has <coughs> 20 left, so he doesn't like that. Don't, play, don't, play, don't, play, don't pay Phil Lack off in cash game. He always has it. He's not bluffing you. <laughs> you're uncomfortable. Or comfortable? Well, Phil, he's got so many chips. This 39,000 is. So basically, JC by slow playing the ace has induced a twenty-five thousand dollar bet. Now let's see if JC can just call or if he has to feel like he needs to raise it here. If he knew Phil's hand, he'd just call. Yeah. <laughs> but I think he probably is going to raise. So many hands that Phil could have raised with that that he'd have to give action here right now, right? Well, JC might be thinking if Phil has like a king ten, do I want to give him a free shot at the at the nine? You know, I mean that that's what's crossing his mind. Maybe Phil is jack ten suited. Does does JC want to give him a free shot at a jack or a ten? Um, and then if Phil does have a strong hand, the raise is going to get him all in anyway. But it's real hard to slow play again with aces in this spot. If he did it, it would be impressive. Lock has gone very still. And he's gone for the big bet. Okay, this pot's over. Next. Oh, I don't like that you did that, sir. It's 25, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh. how, how long has this Phil got to wait here? Kid, yeah. You did good on this one. You done good. You did you did the right thing here. You, you he's done a lot of acting here. 
So just when you want to count J.C. Tran out. Just when he, he got reckless and bluffed off, uh, you know, 90 per, or 80 percent or 70 percent of his stack, he came back with ace, king, and aces. I mean, you know. You never pair, did you? That's bounce back. I had a real hand, but it's not a pair. I did not have a pair. Wow. Seven-handed in the first match of the Premier League season. Back for more from the M Casino after the break. Welcome back. It's the bagel for Daniel Negreanu in his first match. That's zero points, and there are seven left at the table. All the hype and excitement. Uh, now the it's Premier the League is really underway. Down to business. Limpy Dimpy. Yes. So I'm what the did third I lose person on that last 25? You were the first, Phil, the second. What did I open for? So here comes 15. Russo. She's trying to take advantage of somebody else's. Oh, she has pocket she has queens. queens. Oh my god. Just the dynamics. Casey could call her here. Oh. Because he's thinking that when he limped, oh. Vanessa thought he was weak. Jay-Z has to limp to front. What's he doing? Just a ballpark. I don't know that. I've got probably 140 behind. 140 behind? Yeah. Uh-oh, bye-bye. J.C. Tran is in trouble. No, he's out. He's out of the tournament. He's gone. Especially against that opponent. Boy, she's, she's destroyed Unless Vanessa today. does something silly and moves all in. As long as she can keep it to 30, 40,000, 50,000, somewhere in that range. I think he's going to move in. That is 36,000. He has been his bogeyman to start out this Premier League. Yeah. And now that he's come this far, anything other, other than moving all in here would kind of be a mistake for him, right? Hold on, hold on. I'm looking at my cards. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wow, that was a good move. She seems weak now. What an honest guy. She nearly mocked. Oh, I well, at least she didn't flip her cards over or something. That would yeah. make it easier, though. <laughs> Wow, it was whatever Vanessa just did there, uh, <laughs> JC Definitely just called because of it, I think. Wow. I think JC thinks oh, she has like ace five or something. <laughs> has she, has she JC has him? cards to, to, to stay in the tournament here. No. Oh, oh lucky JC Tran. Oh, that is just sick. I mean, that is just sick. It really is. And look, I mean, there was another 10 out. Phil Locke had jack 10 this hand. He did not. Yes, oh he my did. Gosh. Look at this. It's unbelievable. The <laughs> Premier League one out. loves J.C. Tran. It's unbelievable. Golden. 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 So that was I have queens. Oh, that's him from Oh my God! Easy. Guess what I folded, boys? He's so golden, isn't he? Ten jack, and I'm sick, right? When I look so at the father, I'm sicker on the turn, and now. I'm this not sick, just, I'm actually I mean, happy. Sick. It I is pretty sick, isn't it? Don't peel I off mean, a jack. You know, I'll feel really, uh, there really sick of it. There is one queen left in the deck, though, so we shouldn't say it's sick. I could handle a 9-7. I mean, you know, know, we shouldn't say it's sick yet, but... If a 9-7 or a jack peels off, I get sick, like right? He's like Superman, oh, JC Tran. See, that's why he pulled 10 jack. He cannot be knocked out of the Premier League. 107, I think, is my count. Like you said, short. It's a sign of a true... No. Super genius when he gets crippled and he just comes back. He's like a. No, I said with no showdown though. When he two hours someone, it's not genius. Oh, right, yeah. So sick. She wanted him out, didn't we? I've seen some strange things at the Premier League, and, then, and I'm like, you know, look, this is poker. The math is still in there. But wow, I mean, you know, it just seems like. Vanessa Russo is still in second place, but look at JC Tran, Phil, from the bottom up into fourth. It's scary. I mean, it's scary. He was out. I came from a, uh, a very big family, a very um, tight, close family. I'm the youngest of eight kids. Uh, we grew up poor. You know, I look back and say, you know what? I've came a long way, and I can't, I can't give it up. I am very 
very excited to play this event. I mean, this is the event that I've looked forward to for a long time. You know, I'm ready to win this and I really want to win this and I need to win this. The thing with me is I like to be able to win something big every few months or so just to keep myself around. And you know, the money is always important, but the, the title, you know, the challenge, I always want to keep it there in front of me and never let it slip away. I, I he bluffed off. He was like, out of the tournament. It's over. Benito. And then, you know, and then to show up like bam, bam like that is just, I mean, it's just sick. I mean, so look, I mean, you have to understand. I mean, look, JC Tran's a great player, uh, you know, one of the top uh, two or three in the league here. And, uh, you know, and he's getting lucky. I mean, great players are allowed to get lucky, too. The first year in the Premier League when I won four of the six heats, I was lucky. You know, I felt like I was playing great, but. The combination of luck and skill sometimes, right? That becomes a dominating force. <laughs> Seen them square off once before, <laughs> Luke and Tran. But Yevgeny uh, maybe have something to say about this. Is this a squeeze? Situation. Yeah, well, he has five six suited. He's just yeah. gambling, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, yeah. as it turns out, you know, Schwartz has his spades. <sighs> JC seemed to read Luke pretty good earlier on. Early. Yeah, there's a great flop for Schwartz. Yeah. He's trying to flop second yeah. pair. Luke's checked this to JC. Check. Trying to set a trap. And JC checked right behind. That's interesting. Good check on JC's part there. Games within games. Now, what should Tran be thinking? Tran doesn't really know what to think here. I would be impressed if he folds, but I don't think he can fold. I mean, he checked he checked second pair to call on the turn, and uh, and the deuce came, the blank came, and now he has to call. It's kind of a standard call. How often is Schwartz going for the river bet? Depends what comes. Uh, Schwartz is going to bet the river 100% of the time. If a blank comes, he needs like a three or a four. Ace or a ten is obviously just devastating. That's a great card for Schwartz. How much are you playing? He's playing quite a bit, actually. Almost 270. Can you spread the pot, please, as well? Close to 280. 280 now. Blimey. 100, yeah, that's about the same as Luke's yes. card. 200, 250, 276. I guess overshot's not an option then. You know, even though he's got three jacks, I mean, the possibility of a flush? I bet it's 50,000. Yeah, I think <coughs> Tran has to call. I mean, you know, he, he, may, he may not even like it. He may just say, but the way he played the hand, he has to Six call. So. diamonds. Time. He's played this to get two streets of value on the turn in River, Phil. Now Luke played the hand really well, and, and, and you know, and I don't blame JC for calling. He called you. Yeah, he almost Queen had drop. Ball. Queen drop. Oh, Schwartz can be Queen. moving up the ladder, and JC Tran <coughs> turn in River barrel. Nothing JC could do. I mean, he, right. he after he checked the flop with second pair with an ace, he did it to trap and to protect himself from losing more. And uh, the deuce came off and, and the jack, and there's nothing he could do. No, Bubba Shrimp. All Luke Schwartz's marginal plays have worked to a T tonight. That was absolutely brilliant. Running rings around them. Brilliant. Top five of all time for me. Yeah. Is J.C. Tran facing like some different looks this year uh, already? Um, Worth Gump. Liar, liar. Well, yeah, I mean, he's had, <laughs> he's had, <laughs> Frazier came over the I top of him once. I mean, last year everybody was saying, oh, wow, J.C.'s playing so great, he's playing so great. No one was even trying anything on him. But this year, right away, Ian came over the top Sorry. of him when he had the best hand. Um, Vanessa, yeah. Vanessa came oh. over the top of him. Oh. Um, Vanessa trapped him. Um, Wow. Lock with a 16 ball. Just Fraser. 
between him and he, and he's been getting picked on a little bit so far. Oh, now let's let the games begin. This is a judgment call. But no, Phil Locke could easily end up playing a big pot here. He oh, cool. is! And he made a mistake. He is! Home. He's dumped them all into Fraser! And he made a mistake here. Phil Locke made a big mistake. I have to hit an eight to get anywhere in this hand. Now, was this just a cooler because of the setup, or did Phil not take not his time? It was not a cooler. It was not a cooler. Yeah. Yeah. Phil, Phil, Phil could have gotten away. Yeah. I mean, oh, he Fraser's only re-raised yeah. a couple of times the whole match. Um, I, I think it's Phil, Phil acted like too quickly, and I, I think that was a mistake for him. Oh, the old kings. Nice hand, sir. But who's going to have 593,000 now? I tell you, it's not, I'm telling you, it's not over. Well, I am 18.5%. It has happened in the past. <laughs> Do you feel well, like an eight's coming, Jess? Yes. I don't know. I feel like the Razor is about to go chip I leader. I wish I had ace two soft suit right here. <laughs> We've got Eddie Hearn here, the, oh, the you know the founder of Premier League. Eddie, you think I an eight's coming this hand? Eddie says yes. He thinks an eight's coming. <laughs> ace comes he thinks his man right. Frazier's a little unlucky. His friend right. Phil Locke's a little lucky. Go I'm gonna stay out of this one, but if an eight comes, I guess I'd be in shock if an eight comes. But right. Locke's one of those guys, you know, the vibes. <laughs> she feel it. That was funny, sir. <laughs> well, I mean, he, he got uh, 300,000 with eights against kings. It's not like, you know. Oh, oh my oh Lord. My. And oh, my God. Are you serious? Wow. That is just I so cold. It's pretty oh. sick. Wow. If I limp you, drew a blimp after me. Hmm? If I limp you, or limp limping. Yeah. With eight but I wouldn't call so his race. Sick. Right. Oh my God, oh, and two people had an ace, hearts. they would have both oh sucked God. out of them too. <laughs> Lock, Lock is oh, a queen, almost. Keep it, keep it low, come on, don't do it to me. I'm strong, I can take it, but don't do it. Phil Lock, do not beg not to do it. He's Good like, luck. don't Good do luck. it, don't do it. You don't um, have a right to beg for them not to do it. When you're the four and after one dog and you right suck on. out, just shut oh, up and wait for the last card, you know? I mean, come on. <laughs> How do you get 830,000? <laughs> oh you cool the field, you freeze them out. <laughs> don't hurt me, please don't hurt me. I'm running too good. And Phil Locke sends another one to the rail, and we've got Ian Fraser here with us. Yeah. Got it all in very, very good, and uh, the flop didn't hit you. You played very well, though, certainly today. Yeah, I mean, um, I didn't do anything wrong. He, I just can't understand why he's pushed with eights. Do you know what I mean? He, he, he's such a muppet, and what you know, what a lucky hand. Uh, you know, this it kills you because it, when you're that far in front, they always seem to hit. Mm. You know, and that's what kills you. And um, you know, I've gone from being oh, I would have been chip leader. He'd have been steaming. He'd have probably been the next one out. And uh, I'd had every chance to go on and win it. I'm obviously really sick. Wow, what was that worth? Phil Locke. Could he be the first heat winner? I mean, I mean, you know, look, Phil got reckless with the chip lead, and really he deserves to be down at 240,000. He deserves to be down and, you know, fifth place on the list. Instead, he hit the Miracle 8. He's at the top of the list. Good performances from Schwartz and Russo so far, but still a long way to go with six still in. Next time we see who takes down maximum points in the first league match of season four of Party Poker Premier League Poker. Oh my lord, this is so sick. Didn't like the fill lock. It's just too stupid. I'm the worst. Oh, with Harry. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs>